Hello, my name is Rafael Vila, and this is the third tutorial after many years um, creating tutorials. Um, today I'm going to show how to create a website using Inkscape. Inkscape is a real amazing tool that you can download for free and uh, it's a vector based graphic uh, software and, and it's probably one of the most powerful open source software in, in the market in the, in the open, open source industry and as you see this is something that I am working on this is uh, the, my website that I'm about to revamp and I decided to design the the website with Inkscape just to test the power of this software and see its capabilities and also I wanted to have a clean nice looking website uh, using the the new magazine style uh, what Microsoft Windows start uh, calling Metro style but now it's called magazine uh, probably uh, because uh, the fans on for Mac users but this is uh, a style clean easy to to navigate and all that and as you see there's a many uh, elements that I'm and I'm using to create a web and wanna this is this this is gonna be the hover when you hover when you hover over a link or something like that the 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 pointer will look like this uh, all the section how the articles from my blog will display and this is a test that I have on my local host of using this technique as you see it, it changes a little bit I, while I was developing uh, I come up with different ideas uh, but see how the i the icon of the mouse changes when I hover and exactly the the design that you saw there the, the element that I create for that um, and this is a simple uh, HTML website uh, using PHP in the background uh, for the Ajax creating the HTML5 website uh, this is a static HTML uh, here is gonna be my uh, my portfolio uh, images uh, slide a slideshow of my portfolio and obviously uh, services and the, na the standard navigation is going to be a simple navigation and all this was designed in the amazing <laughs> Inkscape and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, well I have a, a project that I'm working on and, and I'm going to use it as, a, as an example um, to create a our website first of all uh, when you're designing a website right now the one of the one of the features of the website that I'm gonna be designing it has to be a simple image with simple navigation buttons like five buttons and it's gonna have a, a big image on the background and the navigation buttons will be five navigation buttons and that's it that that's gonna be the website so I'm gonna design it here uh, that way you have too many advantages to design something before you put it on the web first it's gonna be easier for you to determine uh, what you're gonna do for your CSS uh, how you're gonna manage your CSS and I'm gonna start with the default and uh, here is the window so the default is gonna is give us this uh, A4 uh, paper size. I, I guess the developers for Inkscape are from Europe and the Europe area. Uh, haven't checked it out. Is but they're making an amazing work. Well, 
I'm gonna change this and to change uh, the um, the art the art artboard the only thing that you need to do is go to file and you see in the menu something that's called document properties and document properties I can change the aspect I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using pixels uh, for now so I'm gonna make a standard HD uh, web HD size 1280 by 720 pixels website so I'm gonna try to accommodate the image because this is almost most of the screens today uses these aspect ratios is what 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 we see if you don't understand what we see around that is said 16 by 9 this is the 16 by 9 ratio so that's when you design your website just try to use this aspect ratio either portrait or landscape uh, depending what you are designing for uh, because our customers are more uh, guided to desktop uh, I will not bother to make this for a mobile but if you're gonna make a mobile website I will suggest to start with the portrait and start with the minimum screen size and after that you spread it out spread it out so you make a responsive website for for now we're gonna make something simple first the customer wants to uh, to have a photo in the background and I'm gonna use uh, any a photo from for this example I'm gonna use a, a photo from the stocks that I download from stock exchange an amazing website stock exchange you can find it here we I have a lot of stuff open let me close 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 this is another customer website uh, my website so Instagram I don't want Facebook to pop up now so <laughs> let's call cancel it now to access stock exchange the address is sxc.su this is an amazing free image stocks and uh, it was bought by um, oh really forgot the name <laughs> is a very popular uh, they have a paid version that is called iStock photo and they were bought by a big company uh, get an image <clears throat> but you're gonna get nice photos in this in this site and most of them you don't have to give any credit which I just suggest to just yes, give credit uh, those people work hard and waste a lot of money on in photography so I suggest to give credit to whoever on to whoever credit is owner so now <clears throat> I'm gonna use any any image. Let's let's use that one, and I'm gonna link it. So as you see, this is a big image, but I'm gonna accommodate it uh, to that. All right. So now that I have this. And this is awesome. You see that that you cannot see the artboard, and uh, doesn't don't worry about it. The only thing that you need to do is uh, let's position it there. Go back to File, Document Properties, and say Border on top of Drawing, and that will show the artwork, artboard border, in top of the design. <clears throat> Those. Of you that are used to illustrate around that they always put the art board in top obviously something I think it should be put on the default <clears throat> and you don't have to worry the image goes off if you're kind of uh, uh, green like me um, what you can do is just create another um, 
oops why I did that <laughs> create another um, yeah NetBeans fabulous fabulous ID uh, create a, a block and let's see I'm sorry that let's see the feel has stroke no has stroke feel it's okay that's perfect and I'm gonna make it 100 by 720 so use the same aspect ratio and I'm gonna do to position 0x and 0y to be as in the sack baseline with that selected you select both and you come here to object you see this option that say mask and set so there you go you have your your image crop to the aspect ratio without uh, having to open GIMP and create another image just for that now I'm gonna show the layers and I'm gonna rename this layer background I'm gonna lock it and, and not messing with that background and I add another layer that is gonna be the navigation area remember this is gonna be a very simple website and in the navigation I'm gonna create I'm going to to create I'm going to create five buttons but first of all I'm going to, I'm going to create the button uh, one thing that I like a lot from Inkscape that make it easier to design is that it has a lot of power and um, it uses the the SVG uh, framework if you could call it like that to create images so everything that you do is really uh, web friendly <laughs> so <clears throat> now we create this uh, and let's choose to have in a gradient edit that gradient or well you don't have to do that the only thing if you want to edit the gradient you can do it like that directly if you're like some people that like complication complicated stuff but I like simple stuff so like make it simple I want to do this and you see how nice it looks also I want the border radius so just a, f a little bit of border radius and let's change this color to something more nicer softer uh, something like that and then click the other one and select the same color with the alpha all gone something that nice ain't that nice there, there you go you got one button add a stroke let's make it white 255, 255, 255, or you, you just simply could use the FF, FF, FF. That is good. And stroke with, let's make it three. And for any reason, it's not showing up. I have not opacity and the opacity is set here. <laughs> I got you. So let's do this too. So it's a it's a nice looking button, very simple. And let's put some text on this. Say home. you used to you haven't seen anything yet this is a, a simple really really simple navigation 
home and let's make that copy that control C uh, by the way I'm using Ubuntu 13.10 or 12 I don't know who was the update <laughs> had the other day and I and I have another update here Ooh, oh yeah my software is up today nice now <clears throat> I copy that and let's put some blur that is a blur and paste over that with control artinate V there you go and make it white and there you go that's a nice touch so I select all that and go to object align distribute selection I make it to align into the selection and center center and that's perfectly center uh, but I made a boo-boo let's say go again yeah all right so center that and let's try to select the shadow also and text center that too now let's do this again um, center center perfectly center and now move this a little bit mm, oh no, let me handle it with the mouse there that's perfect let's select it again and say there that's beautiful I get the home button I make a group it looks like that but that's just a when you move it you see the effect again Ctrl D to make a copy and move it with con holding control so we can keep it on place and he wants to have five navigations and you can do this with uh, CSS if you want to it's really simple to do with but th I, this is a real uh, simple customer and he preferred to keep things simple and I'm gonna help him to do it so let's create a simple logo that's part of the navigation boo.com let's say <laughs> something simpler not much I'm, I'm not getting paid for this <laughs> uh, let's put that ball and probably select another that that's basically gonna be the website and then you're gonna have the copyright who web.com copyright art uh, copyright 2013 whatever And I made up email info at web.com. So that's going to be the website. Simple. Now that you have that done, take into the 
next level would be as simple as selecting and exporting yep so let's say that I'm gonna use this exact logo this exact say size into the website I just selected let me make a group of that we have our icon that I let's change those names home mission and this is gonna be tricky but you select that you say page down and move it down and you select that yeah mission I like that page down Contact us. Page now. There you go. Now we have our navigation. We have our logo and the background. <clears throat> and that's going to be the simple web page and once it's clear out all the information is going to appear here that you can close and uh, lock the navigation create another layer that is called a body and that body For any reason, put it inside. Oof. I made a boo boo. Above current. Yep. Navigation called body. And there you go. And our body will be concentrated in this area. So, see, this is a very simple website. I just want to show you how you can use uh, Warp uh, Inkscape to create a simple layout. A set of layout. You can make more complicated things than that. So, <clears throat> now I'm going to select this, and this is the beauty where the beauty start. Well. And I say export as bitmap. I'm gonna select browse. And I'm gonna create a project. In the folder called tutorial. Web. Get safe file name will be logo that PNG save and export that's it oops I forgot you have to click this export again it's gonna ask you to replace it you say yes and then you follow the same procedure tutorial same home PNG export mission PNG export this is how easy is create the images about PNG export contact export body export and we have the logo already so we select the background 
we may select the page not the selection because as you see the selection goes away beyond the page it's going to be 1280 by 720 and 90 pixels so we get browse again tutorial and you see all the icons there um background that png save export and obviously the copyright selection copy export there you go we got that running now let's see what we have there we I'm going to my tutorials and look at that I got all Mishuger. we have the logo we have the mission image the about us and they have their transparency the body contact us copy home and logo just imagine everything that you create let's say that let's go back here and that I custom I want a custom uh, pointer I come here and have three corners select star three corners and that's gonna be my pointer let's say how you gonna look oops uh, apparently I put the pointer so that's gonna be my pointer on the hover so I come <clears throat> with that selected go back file explore bitmap browse tutorial pointer save <clears throat> Based on selection, it give you the size eight, 18 by 19. So you have to keep that in mind if you want to use it in something else and export. That's it. Now you have all the elements ready that you need to create a website. As I say, this is just for the layout. To make this convert that into an HTML, then we're going to use the power of NetBeans. Oops. Postscript. Okay. Obviously, the problem is that NetBeans is trying to copy the SBGs file. <clears throat> so quit. I don't want to do well, this. Uh, save on tutorials. <clears throat> simple layout SVG and save all right so we close that we have our simple layout there uh, yes if you're saving this is something that you had to deal with if you have Inkscape open uh, Inkscape save everything in the SVG format if you have 
any folder linked to NetBeans, NetBeans is trying to read that and create a conflict between these two, Inkscape and NetBeans. NetBeans. Other than that, just keep in mind not to do it. <laughs> now, we have all this. Now I'm going to copy my... <clears throat> Let's open this baby again. Open with Inkscape. So let's do the same thing. File export bitmap pointer high all except selected replace. Just remember that if you want a transparent background. Now if I get all this and I copy it, copy and I put it on my www images I create new folder tutorial and paste it there they're having amazing for a free operating system right and I got all that now I close this I save this just in case close it yes let's help them develop patches for that probably tomorrow I'm gonna have more up updates to do <laughs> now I'm going to come here NetBeans and Got my site root here. My images should be here in tutorial. So I'm gonna create in my local host a new file, new HTML file. It's gonna be in Inkscape layout. Say finish. Here I got it creates my HTML5 basic format. Now we're gonna put the Inkscape layout tutorial tutorial and we're gonna add some style shit. CSS and just to comply and let's put the script and this is gonna be JavaScript those who wants to add some custom JavaScript that's all you need to do or if you want to use jQuery or something and you don't want to download it, you just come here and Google. Google. I'm sorry. Just put Google uh, jQuery. And normally, hosted libraries is the faint first link that will appear. And just copy this whatever you got this copy the latest is 2.0.3 so you can change that to that number if you want to not necessarily but if you want to have the latest you can do it 2.2.0.3 and let's move forward and get a UI that they have actually the latest. That's awesome. So now we add it here. Copy and paste it. Oh, I create a Ctrl X to delete the whole extra that I did. 
so we have a body that we're gonna add background let's do it it's black but we're gonna call the URL top left no repeat top left no repeat now we're gonna add the URL that's gonna be images where I uh, save it tutorial background dot png that's remember that we save our images in our tutorial folder in under images and we have background now we're gonna add another option that is called background side cover all right so now let's go here and let's put localhost inkscape layout HTML and there is is it's coming good you see how he fits perfectly on the screen because we keep it. we made that image uh, on the standard 16 by 9 and it's beautiful look beautiful now let add another option that is called nav and we got nav we're gonna add the I'm sorry I don't need that and position absolute uh, something um, dimension 55 and we have one two one two three four four if you're not a good mathematician like me just use the calculator say 55 by 4 equals 220 so we're gonna do top 50 percent and margin top 110 that is the half of that so now now we can have a div id home that uh, we said it's going to be 239 by 55 we're going to have a class nav buttons and in that class put the nav buttons we're going to make display Lock just to make sure and but naturally by default the div is display block but I just did it for because to have something there position relative and width to 39 pixels by height 55 pixels and here right right 50 pixels all right so we have that one two three four so we have home we got mission we got about us and we have contact and we 
we say that home background URL transparent URL top left now repeat <clears throat> images tutorial home png I'm gonna copy this yes a mission safe so well, let's do an effect here nav buttons hover box shadow zero zero ten pixels white there you go perfect uh, save it go back to our fabulous website and close that I don't want that <laughs> getting that buttons I have you said tutorial <laughs> Man, that wasted more sh developing time. There you go. That's beautiful. All right. So now let's position the the logo, and we have the header. Let's remove this. Header and our logo is 560, 564 by 174. Yeah, you see that? Okay, so we're gonna get the header with 564 pixels by height, and this is short memory 174, 174 pixels. There you go. Set. Go here. Position relative. Top fifty pixels. Left fifty pixels. There you go. I expect that you understand a little bit of CSS and HTML to do this. What I'm doing. <clears throat> and if not, I'm working on a, a series of tutorials how to develop an HTML page. It's going to be free. But I, it's a work in progress. Images, tutorial, tutorial. Logo. PNG. There you go. Now we go there. Refresh the page, and there's our pool web. All right. So this is basically what you need to do. To we can add more space in between the buttons. Uh, uh, we had to add the the body body area um, but let's, let's just do the body uh, so I don't leave you hanging let's 
section. PD body. Section. Okay, this section. Section. Position relative tab is gonna be fifty. Where's my calculator? Uh, did I close the calculator? <laughs> it's gonna be fifty pixels plus one seventy four plus twenty. So it's gonna be two hundred and forty four. Tab is gonna two hundred and forty four pixels uh, left. Gonna be 50 pixels to continue with the spacing that we have. Right is gonna be 239 plus 50. Two thirty nine plus fifty plus twenty equal three oh nine. Three hundred nine because that's almost uh, cell phone screen high so that you know that this is, ain't gonna be good for the web <laughs> for mobile smaller devices good for the iPad most tablets now but not for smartphones and bottom let's do uh, 100 pixels because we had the copyright that I'm not gonna do you gonna do it by yourself and there's gonna be border two pixels white solid border radius let's do 20 pixels and background is gonna be white but with a transparency RGB A so RGB A would be 255 comma 255 comma 255 comma 0.8 so that's this is the position on the RGB that I will show you later and let's do that uh, Oops, I guess I had to make it position absolute. And I just had some space in there. There you go. I'm gonna match this so it has to be like 60%. Uh, 40%. I forget to take note on that. There you go. So we have our web design with. Oh, let's do this. So I can show you how beautiful this is gonna be. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> I'm gonna have the same errors now. All right. Thank God I didn't have it. Pointer cursor. So if it doesn't find the image or there's an error loading the image is gonna use the normal pointer images tutorial pointer dot png. So, um, I did it again. Sorry for that. F5, and there you go. It has your pointer. I'm 
make it light darker and the border more there you but as you see the same thing that you saw in there on uh, Inkscape you have it in here um ah that's bugging me so let's fix that nav would be 5 5 20 240 40 and nav buttons margin bottom 5 pixels and nav button last shall margin button zero there you go now it's separated well I hope you have enjoyed this and how beautiful your web can look if you design in a clean environment like with a vector uh, graphic editor called Inkscape uh, this is a, that's an amazing uh, software I suggest you to start working with it if you're not a professional designer uh, it's free if you're a professional designer it will make your life easier and uh, even easier than Photoshop and all that I hope you have enjoyed this happy designing and happy coding goodbye